Hey, it's Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to show you another method for how to load or save a YouTube video into a PowerPoint slide. And what I have in front right now is the finished result, and I've gone to YouTube, found a video, and actually loaded it and would, can save it into my slide. The, the benefits of this is that if I'm traveling with the presentation and I'm not sure if I'm going to have internet when I get there, and I do have a YouTube video program to play into the slideshow, I can um, have it actually downloaded into the PowerPoint file. Now it makes the file size rather large, so you have to keep that in mind, but that way you don't have to count on the venue actually having internet for you to access, doing it the other two methods that I've previously demonstrated. So th this one looks a little bit different once it gets into the PowerPoint slide. Uh, a couple of noticeable things different is that you can actually play it in, while you're still in the edit mode. I am now still in the edit mode, so I can just hit the play button. And you can see the slideshow start to run. No big sound there, just some waves crashing. Now, I can also launch it in PowerPoint and have the uh, play button show up when I drive over it to play again. Now let me go back. A couple of extra things you can do at this point. If you have a long video and you want to trim it down a bit, uh, you can go in Video Tools to Playback and trim the video down once you have it placed in there. So if you just want it to play from minute two to minute four or minute two to minute two minutes and, and 30 seconds, you can set that up and it will just play that piece of the video, which is, is very handy sometimes. Now, let me go show you how to pull this off. We will need the internet to do it, but what you have to remember is the good thing is if you're traveling with the PowerPoint, you, it will play from within the slideshow. And as a, just an MP4 that's put in there. Um, the trade-off is that your PowerPoint is going to be become a huge file size because of having video file in there as well. All right, so let's begin. In um, PowerPoint, well, let me just zap this one out of here actually, and so regular PowerPoint slide. I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to go up to video and I will select video from file this time. So video from file means that it's actually going to be somewhere in my downloads file. So the question is, and you can see that's the video I just popped in there, and I would just insert it. Now, the trick is you've got to get it into your downloads file. So how do you do that from YouTube? So let me take you through those particular steps. At this point, I'm just going to close that out for a bit because I'm not ready because I don't have the right file in there yet from YouTube. And I'm going to jump out to YouTube, which I have it queued up already on my channel, Dr. Linda Davis. Now, uh, I just use this um, sunset video for when I'm tired of doing um, digital work on the computer. I just go watch a um, nice, relaxing video. And um, I can pick this one again and just have it up here because all I really need from this, if it's the video that I, I want, all I really need is the web address. So it doesn't need to be playing, just have the web address up here. Now, the next step, once you find your video, Go over, launch a new tab with your internet, and I'm going to go and just Google this um, YouTube downloader. And I'll show you which one I've been using that's worked really good so far. And the first one that pops up is the one that I've been using, um, en.savefrom.net, and I'll click on that link. and. Uh, you just gotta have to know how to navigate this particular page because there's other things going on in the page but basically you just want to insert that web address into this area right here in the blue rectangle area so let me jump back to the video that I've selected let me just click once on the address that's all I need and that highlights it with one click now I will then right click and say copy so I'll copy that link and then I'm going to jump back over to the other internet page and insert this link in here. So right click to get the menu up and then select paste or you can do a control V. Now that puts the web address in there. Now go over to the uh, blue rectangle with the white arrow and you're going to click on that next.
and I've done this on several different computers with different versions of Windows and this seems to work just fine. And it may take a minute for this to download. Now when you see this screen that means it's pretty much done and it's asking you to download it. Um, as an MP4, yes, that's what I want to do, 720p um, versus other choices there, but 720 is just fine for a PowerPoint slide. And um, at this point, I'll just hit the download button, the green rectangle, and it's, and as you can see, it's, uh, it probably already did it once, but it's uh, downloading it for me to my download folder. At this point, I can, while it's finishing up on the download, it just depends on your internet speed and your, you know, your, obviously your bandwidth to see um, how long it's going to take for that to happen. Now, let me jump back to PowerPoint since it's now supposedly in my downloads folder. And let's go check. So let's insert video, video from file like I showed you earlier. And we'll look in the downloads folder, it comes up automatically anyway. You don't usually even have to navigate back to that. It pops up usually on, from downloads. Um, and then we have, obviously I have it in there several times, but that's the video sunset on Little Gasparilla. And then I'll hit insert. Now this part takes, you know, a, few, a couple of minutes as well. No, that didn't take long. So it uh, shows up on the slide rather big, so we need to, I need to amend that. So just like any photo, you want to resize from the corners to keep the image in proportion. And it's still a little big. I probably just want to put it on the lower half of the slide. Good enough. Also, if I want a frame around the video, you have extra things you can do with that here that you may not get with the other methods. Um, I can put a nice uh, photo frame around it. Can look at all my photo frames here to see what kind of um, format I would want. Lots of different styles. Um, some with shadow, some not. So that's just up to you how you want it to display. There's video border, and like I said, if you want to go to playback tab within the video tools, you can go to trim video, which is really good because a lot of times my students will have a great, you know, they'll have an eight minute video, but it's only two minutes of the video that's really good that they really want to apply to their slideshow. And so now they can trim it down and just show me those two minutes and don't, you know, get us all locked into an eight minute video when we really don't have time for that. So um, that's your start time. That's your end time for when it queues up and how you want it. Now you can also just take the green and the red bar. This is the start, red is stop, and just uh, slide it up. To pick your best times you know you can be very precise with the uh, digital version or you can just slide the bars either way and so we do that we say okay and then we hit play it plays in even in the edit mode and notice it's going very fast because I trimmed it down to just you know a couple minutes or so or I can obviously hit be in launch mode with the PowerPoint and uh, get the same control there to launch it and stop it when I need to. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this method three on how to load or save a YouTube video into a PowerPoint slide. Check out our Techie Warrior channel for more videos. Thank you for your time.